The firefighter steps up onto the running board and grasps the three to four small loops on top of the cross-laid tank line with both hands. Maintaining control of the nozzle, the firefighter steps down and rotates into the hose and shoulders approximately 50 feet of working hose line. The firefighter now rotates away from the shouldered load, pushes the hose out of the way, and grabs the large loop underneath of it. It is critical that the firefighter completely clears the cross-laid hose bed during this evolution. Not doing so may result in significant complications on the fire ground. The firefighter sets down the shouldered working line and prepares to deploy the line. Space permitting, it is preferable to deploy the line using the nozzle coupling method. The firefighter grasps the nozzle in one hand and the first coupling in the other and walks toward the objective. Most of the time this effectively flakes out the hose line so that no further adjustment is needed to remove kinks. The firefighter should stop approximately six to eight feet from the objective and prepare to charge the hose line. This allows room for rescue or forcible entry operations. The firefighter prepares to charge the line by physically ensuring and verbalizing bail closed, rotating the nozzle bumper full right for a straight stream pattern for fire attack, and then raising one arm overhead and calling for water.